I always wondered why nobody did it before me. I mean, all those comic book movies and television shows, you think at least one eccentric loner would have stitched himself a costume? Is everyday life really so exciting? Are schools and offices really so thrilling that I'm the only one who ever fantasized about this? Come on, be honest with yourself. We all plan to be a superhero at some point in our lives. Oh my god! Look at that! Oh shit! Wings to manual! I said, wings to manual! Fuck! <laughs> that wasn't me, by the way. That was just some Armenian guy with a history of mental health problems he read about me in the New York Post. I'm the guy with the electrodes attached to his testicles. Obviously, this isn't what I had in mind when I first pulled on the mask. I thought it would be more leaping over rooftops and pithy put-downs to purse snatchers. But this is the reality of the situation. This is what happens when you mess with bad people. You cost us money, you little fuck! <laughs> but perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. Perhaps it's wiser to start at the beginning. I wouldn't say I was the class jock, but it would be wrong to say I was the class geek either. I wasn't the class clown or class genius or class anything, really. Like most people my age, I merely existed. I liked Scrubs, Stereophonics, the Goo Goo Dolls and Entourage, Snow Patrol, Heroes and the movies of Ryan Reynolds. Kick in my bedroom door and you probably would have found me downloading my favorite television show or jerking off to my biology teacher. Miss Zane is 44 years old, has two grown-up kids, and her husband works in the prison service. Something wrong, David? No, Miss Zane. I'm sorry. Naturally, I liked girls my own age, too. Like Katie Doma, who used to sit behind me. My best friend Todd said she talked about me all the time, but I'm not sure how accurate this information was. I knew she played tennis at the local club and hung out there one Saturday, hoping to strike up some friendly conversation. Oh, hey, Katie. I didn't know you were a member. Yes, you did, you fucking stalker. You watched my dad drop us off. The guy on the door said you've been hanging around for three goddamn hours. What? what Get the fuck away from me, you loser. And quit staring at me in class. You're giving me the creeps. Like I said, I was just an ordinary guy. There was nothing in my history to suggest a typical hero's journey. No radioactive spiders or refugee status from a doomed alien world. Yes, my mother died when I was 14 years old, but she was killed by an aneurysm as opposed to a hitman. You might have hoped for a little, I will avenge you, mother! But... The reality was more like feeling numb and playing video games while my father cried in the next room. Everybody told him it was time to move on, but he was still so in love that he'd never even think about another woman. We ate the same meal every night, talked about my non-existent future plans, and then he took off for his 10 p.m. night shift. Thus, I'm sure you can see the attraction that comic books held for me. Galactus? As a dust cloud? Come on, man. That costume's a classic. 
People would have pissed themselves if they'd seen him on the Baxter building in that big purple helmet. Yeah, pissed themselves laughing. What works on the page doesn't always work on the screen, asshole. Case in point, Peter Parker's web shooters. What the fuck is this clown on, Dave? The web shooters would have worked in the movie. Oh yeah? High school nerd develops miracle webs even scientists in real life can't create? Go fuck yourself, Toddy. People would have walked out of the theater. Man, I still can't believe how good Whedon's X-Men is. This stuff makes Buffy look like shit. I say that as the world's numero uno Buffy maniac. What's interesting is how obsessive I got around exam time. Downloading whatever I couldn't afford to buy and spending every spare moment on the comic book message boards. I don't remember the exact moment the career plan struck me. It might have been gradual as opposed to one lightning bolt realization. But somewhere between my history and English midterms, I finally knew what I wanted to do with my life. The sense of vocation was mesmerizing. Why do you think no one's ever tried to be a superhero before? I don't know, because it's impossible? Putting on a mask and helping people isn't impossible. No, but it's crazy. Some guys would just fuck you up. You can't do stuff like that in real life. But do you think all these guys talking about it online every day, at least one would give it a try? Not everybody gets to be a rock star, but it doesn't stop people from buying guitars. Rock stars make millions of dollars. Superheroes get nothing jizz for brains. Does everything have to be about money? Jesus, man. Why do people want to be Paris Hilton and nobody wants to be Spider-Man? Man, I bet those girls just want to fuck the shit out of us now. But I was right and the real world seemed increasingly nonsensical. Why train for years to do a job you bitched about all day? Didn't it make more sense to follow your dreams and maybe do a little good at the same time? I don't want to be a lawyer or a bank manager or a goddamn burger flipper. We only get one life and I want mine to be exciting. Hey, what are you doing in bed? It's not even nine o'clock. Nothing. I, um, just not feeling very well, Dad. I, I, I thought you'd already left for work. Yeah, well, forgot my key card. Not gonna get very far without this. You sure you're okay? Totally. I just felt a little sick in school today, and... I thought I'd go to bed early. You know, see if I can sleep it off. Sure, well, see you in the morning, kid. Love you. Love you too. The first time I ogled myself in the bedroom mirror, I realized how far off the mark the comic books had been. It didn't take a trauma to make you wear a mask. It didn't take your parents getting shot, or cosmic rays, or power ring. Just the perfect combination of loneliness and despair. You are fucking awesome. I didn't do a lot of crime fighting in those first few weeks. But there was a lot of posing on the roof and balancing on walls as I got used to the wetsuit I picked out on eBay. A genuine thrill was wearing it under my school clothes. I know it's an ancient superhero tradition, but you can't appreciate how exciting it is until you've sat through our geography class smirking at your own slyness. Lunch times were mostly spent in the gym, and I managed to build some real muscle with a high protein diet of red meat and fish. Evenings were spent coming up with cool superhero names, and for a short while, this was enough. I was feeling so good about myself, I hadn't even looked at internet porn for close to seven weeks. Hmm. 
Bad Knight, Nasty Ass, Nightwalker. But, like a murderer, simply fantasizing would only cut it for so long. After a while, I had to engage. Fuck. What do I say? What the hell is my opening line? Hey! What the fuck are you looking at? Oh shit. I said what the fuck are you looking at, asshole? I don't know if it was the mask that gave me my balls. The words just came tumbling out. Three homos making a mess. What the fuck did he say? Leave it, man. Motherfuckers just high. I'm not high. I'm just pissed off with guys like you making this place even more of a shithole. Get the fuck out of my face, man. Make me. What the fuck? Get the fuck down. You fucking prick! You little fucking faggot! Get that goddamn mask off! Who the hell are you? Huh? What the fuck is your name? I don't know. What? I haven't thought of one yet. Well, fucko. You just got your ass kicked. What? How'd you like them apples? Shit! You have to remember, this was long before the other showed up. Fuck! This was back in the days when pulling on a pair of tights and helping your neighbors was still considered eccentric behavior. A masked man with his guts hanging out was an unusual sight in those innocent times. You can't really blame them for driving on Oh my god! Shut up! Just keep driving! <laughs> oh. Two broken legs, my spine crushed, and dressed like a fucking pervert. My dad was going to kill me. To be continued.